hands again. How y'all doing? Um, today's gonna be just a quick, easy tutorial yet again on products that I haven't really used in a long, good time. Some of them I kind of do, but just because I don't have a lot of that kind. Like, for example, I use my NYX HD Finishing Powder, and I only have like three pressed powders. So, it's been a while since I used that one, so I was like, why not? You know, I love it anyway. Um, but it's a pretty short, simple video on how to get this look while also using products that I haven't used in a good minute. So, just keep watching and you guys will find out. I'm just going to start off with my soft matte NARS concealer in the shade Canal. I'm going to use my finger to go ahead and prime my lids with it. take my NYX HD setting powder since I feel like it's been forever since I've used it. Take my BH Cosmetics Rose Quartz Collection number 4 blending brush to set my eyelid lids. I really don't feel like going all the way down to my car. Um, I left my eyebrow pen like the pencil to do my eyebrows and my car and my school bag because I started school today. So I'm going to take my dip brow in the shade soft brown and then I have this little brush I got from the drugstore a long time ago and I'm just going to use the brush off of my brow is to go ahead and do my eyebrows today. Sealer too, just because they look a little crazy. And I'm gonna take my NYX Contour and Sculpt. shade I'm going to take in is going to be burnt orange. Maybe the shade right here. Which was my favorite one really. It's like one of the first things I've ever used. I'm going to go ahead and 
just to intense the look. Just to Brush, the E5 pointy brush. I'm going to pick up a tempera and then I'm going to go ahead and put Pixie Hydrating Mist and 
So, I'm gonna use my primer today, which is gonna be two of them. I'm gonna take my rose gold elixir, my Versali, and then I'm gonna take my MAC Prime and Prep sample. And first, I'm gonna start off with this one. Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Duville. And it might be a little white for me or a little bit yellow, but I'm gonna go ahead and bronze the hell out of my face to make it work. So let's go with it. And I am gonna use my Sephora Beauty Blender, it was white, and I'm gonna use my ColourPop F15 brush on half just to see what I like. sucks is the pump kind of is hard like you have to hit it again and again and again and maybe I don't know, maybe it's just really cool. and maybe that's all you need one two pumps we'll see find my 
my other NARS concealer that's a little bit lighter than the one that I used because I don't feel like it was light enough to be a concealer for this foundation. So I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 15 Fair. Just a little bit under the eyes just to brighten it up. video since I can never remember. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab a setting powder that I haven't used in a long time. It's my number 7 setting powder. I don't actually remember if I've ever used this on my face. I've opened it, but I, don't, I had a hard time getting it out. It's the translucent perfect light loose powder. And I don't know if it's going to show on camera, but it's so thick. It's like little thick little pieces. i take my brush. This was my first ever contour palette ever. It's why it looks so raggedy. It's the BH, I'm sorry, it's the uh, Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit. And it's, I used the hell out of it. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this orange-ish shade from my bronzer. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my Milani brush. Really good in person, and I'm kind of like 
mad that I never thought to use it as that before. We're gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio. This is the Peach Love Collection, Peachy Love Collection. I'm gonna take my blush brush from BH Cosmetics, the number two brush. We're gonna take this orange B shade. This one is called Miami. We're gonna go ahead and put that. So if you like natural highlights, I would definitely recommend getting this contour stick because the contour is also not too crazy harsh. This the lightest shade and I feel like it's honestly a, a good purchase. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out all over again. I'm just kind of like stippling it on my face. off the foundation off my nose um but i will go over with another highlighter and i'm gonna use my little sample from becca like the little mini ones um the moonstone But 
I do have like a crap ton of ColourPop lipsticks and just lipsticks in general. So if you guys ever want to see like a lipstick swatch video with me swatching all my lipsticks and like letting you guys see which ones you would possibly want to try out, just let me know. Oh, I'm going to use this little waterproof. I'm really picky about mascara, so I always use like the same two. I got this because I wanted to see how, what was the hype over it. I know people like the pink one, the non-waterproof one, better than this one, I think. But I got this one anyway. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and see how it works. and that's gonna be the end of this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed everything um thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe to my channel comment down below let me know what you guys want to see like next time if you guys like this kind of stuff if not let me know what you guys want all right i'll see you guys next time okay